Hey everybody, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you have not already, please consider subscribing and helping us feed a hungry hippo. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. So today I'm here to tell you that I inadvertently lied to you last week. I did say that the jeans unboxing I put out last week was the last of the October order that I had put into ThreadUp. Not so there's still two more big boxes left. Um, I thought we were at the end of it, but Keith had moved the last of it into a different part of our basement into the actual laundry room behind a closed door. And I didn't know it was there. I ordered two more 50 pound boxes and thought, oh, this is the end of it. Um, but that's okay. Now I just have more jeans to unbox with you guys after Keith gets them washed and dried and um, list and everything. So this is still from that October order. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, last October, they had a coupon code on ThreadUp for their rescue boxes. It was pumpkin or something. And I can't remember if it was free shipping or a percentage off, but it was a really good deal. And I bought four 50-pound boxes, so basically 200 pounds of jeans in preparation for squirreling away for the winter, because that's what Keith and I do, if you don't know about that. We oversource at the end of the summer going into the fall, and that way we have inventory for the entire winter to work on from our, gra our garage without ever leaving the house. We do that on purpose because it's cold here. We live in Pittsburgh or in the suburb of Pittsburgh. It gets really cold here. The roads get icy. Sometimes it snows, and we don't want to leave the house. So we stock up. And uh, so this is, there's still more. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even going to tell you this week this is a lot there's still more i guess if you buy 200 pounds of jeans it takes a while to get through them and i got overly excited and thought we were through them already but i'm here to tell you there's more the way they were shipped was funny too um sorry if you've already heard the story normally throw it up if you order 50 pounds or 30 pound box whichever one you order they send you one box with everything in it if you order four you get four boxes if you order six you get six boxes and whatever happened last October, it was weird because the boxes were smaller than usual and only had part of the order. And there were poly bags, these big giant ones, full of jeans. I ended up with four boxes and four bags. So I've just kind of been working through it to show you guys um, as Keith gets it laundered and brought up here. So there's no um, rhyme or reason to how many came out of what box or whatever. Normally when I do a thread up box, I say this is all 50 pounds of the jeans. I paid this much for it plus with shipping. And then we figure out how much each pair is individually. Didn't do that with this because it was just four bags, four boxes. Who knows came what came from where. So typically thread up is about a dollar seventy-five a pair, give or take. If you have a box with all jeans, you're gonna get less pieces. If you have a box with lots of denim shorts, you're going to get more pieces. Um, and if you get free shipping or a discount, it can be even less. So thread ups usually around $1.15 all the way up to like $1.90 per piece. Racking my brain and going back to the past seven or eight years, I don't think I've ever paid $2 or more than that. And it's always been like right at $1.90 or less. And usually it's a lot less than that. So that's what we can assume I paid for these jeans. Uh, one to $2 a piece. We're still working through the October order. There's more. And eventually we'll get back to the old way of doing the thread ups. Um, but let's just jump on in. We'll talk about the brands as I pull them out. If I know offhand what we would start them at, I'll tell you. I'm going to give you the total price. Okay. And that includes shipping. There is no such thing as free shipping. It's always built into the cost. And then it's up to you. If you want to offer free shipping, that's fine. And if you don't, how you break it up. So when I tell you, oh, I sell these jeans for 20 bucks, that's 20 all in. Whether it's 20 free ship, 10, 10 ship, which is what we do nowadays, 12, 8 ship, however you want to break it down. But just so you know, my price is all in. Um, and if I don't know... Offhand, real quick, I can look at my jeans guide. I do have that saved to my phone. Um, so I can quickly look at it to reference if I'm if I ever go out sourcing again. 
I got so much inventory here. I never have to leave the house. Isn't that nice? Probably not for you guys. A lot of you guys do like to go out thrifting. I don't. <laughs> um, our jeans guide has been updated for 2024, by the way. The link for it is down below. And right now we are actually running a sale for Valentine's Day. It's good through Monday night at midnight. I'm trying to get you the codes. There's two codes. So if you want to get just the jeans guide by itself or any of our guides individually for $14 a piece, because Valentine's Day is through 14 $14 a piece, you can use code HIPPO LOVE at checkout. Or you can get all three, the bundle for only $29.99 of all three guides by using Love Hippos. And it ends midnight Sunday going into Monday. So that would be February 18th going into the 19th if you're watching this at a later date. Um, Hippo Love and Love Hippos. If you're not in my Facebook group, join us over there. It's a great group to be in. It's pinned to the top. Okay, so this is ink denim. Burp. But they're boyfriend style and they're plus size. So you know what? Not so much poop, really. I mean, still poop. But would I source these? Yes, I would. So we have 99 cent days around here at most of our thrifts. And I go to the plus size rack and anything that's 99 cents size 14 and up, I do buy. Walmart brands, Target brands, poop brands, poopy poop brands, <laughs> the poopest. Uh, plus size does really well and I can always get 20 to $25 for plus size jeans even if they're bad brands. But look, these are really cute. So not only are they plus size and the boyfriend style, which is popular, they have these leopard print patches. Oh my goodness. Maybe 25 for them. Right? Just throw them on the floor. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. We've got, oh, this is a new to me brand. Yay. Miss Selfridge. I don't even know what this says. Put my eyes on. Show it to you guys. We're going to look this up at the end because that's new to me. By the way, these are just shorts, which I love. Almost spring. Get your shorts up. Get your booty shorts listed, folks. Old Navy, size 14. So it's one of my favorite bread and butter brands, and it's a bigger price. 20 bucks all day long. Oh, my God. These are cute. Look. These are full lengths. Black denim overalls. Oh, my gosh. And they're Old Navy, size large. Probably 30, 35 bucks. I'm not even going to comp them. If you comp them and you find out that people are selling these for $12, they're absolute turds and they're racing to the bottom. Overalls fetch good prices. And you can always put 90s and 80s fashion in the title as good keywords. I'll probably comp them just to be sure. Because if everybody is racing to the bottom, I'm going to sit on mine forever. Stop racing to the bottom. Turds. And Taylor Loft, I, I don't even really source this brand anymore. I think it's absolute poop. But will I list these? You better believe it. These are curvy, skinny, size 31, $20. We've got Madewell. I saying that because this is a really good brand. I do believe I start these around 35 But I'm going to double check. 35 I can remember some things, guys. So Madewell, I start around 35 Oh, these have raw hems, too. Cool. If you have hems like this, they're called raw hems. More booty shorts. Or these aren't booty shorts, but they're shorts. So these are Ann Taylor Loft as well. And these will probably get 16 to 18 bucks. So even your poop brands of shorts um, can probably do better than full-length jeans in a lot of instances if it's a bad brand. And I also source all of those. So it's not unheard of for me to go in the store on 99 cent day over to the jeans and pull all of them. I don't care. I don't even look at brand. If it's 99 cents and it's denim shorts, they're coming home with me. I will stack my card up. Levi's 724. Um, these I start at 30. And this guide that I'm looking at right here, this is my actual pricing guide, what I start jeans at. It has all of them here. And that comes with my jeans guide, by the way. So grab it for $14 while you can. Have this right on your phone. And you can see the non-turd, non-racing to the bottom prices. 
So these will start at 30, high rise straight, size 28, raw hems. Keywords for days. I like keywords. More Madewell. The order from October seemed to have a lot of Madewell in it. Um, sometimes I wonder if like one person doesn't donate a whole bunch of jeans and then the thread up warehouse just has them all together. And if you order a 50 pound box, they just like grab, you know what I mean? And you get somebody's entire collection because there was a lot of Madewell in these. So that's cool. Another pair of Madewell, also raw hem. I'm putting them over here for the thumbnail, you know. Pull my box down here. What's next? Old Navy, $20 all day long. I like Old Navy. We've got American Eagle. I love those too. These are 18. So these are plus size, probably 22. Maybe even up to 25 because we can run sales, right? American Eagle, the Dream Jean. These are like little shorts with rips. Probably about 18 bucks. Probably sell them for 16 on an offer. I like to price to give myself wiggle room to run sales and do offers. Aber, Crombie, and Fitch. So skinny high rise. Curve love slash poop. No, I'm kidding. I mean, they are. I wouldn't source these, but I will list them for 20 so that's what I do. I order bulk and then I sell everything out of it. You guys know that by now. Ever Lane. Now, I feel like this is a bolo, but I have don't feel like I've seen but only one pair of Ever Lanes in my entire whole reselling career. So we'll look those up as well. These are poop. These are probably big tan poop. The poopiest of the poops. But they are men's. I usually pack on like five bucks for men. So American Eagle is a good example. My starting price for women's is 20. My starting price for men's is 25. You can add a couple of bucks if it's button fly plus size. Uh, some of the men's American Eagle have like the air flex or whatever it's called. You can add a couple of bucks for that. You can always add a couple of bucks if um, they have something special about them. I got some maternity shorts here, and these are Walmart brand. Time and true. You know what? The Time and True Walmart brand plus size jeans sell for $25 all day long, and they fly off the shelf. Old Navy boyfriend. I like boyfriend jeans. Um, not personally. They're not a style I like to wear, but I like to style them. I like boot cut. I need that little bit of width in my ankle. I have a pair of skinny jeans, but they feel so tight on my ankle. What's your favorite kind of jeans to wear? You wear jeans? I like jeans, period. To sell, to wear, to look at. <laughs> Slim, taper, American Eagle. Okay, so there's that flex. So these are men's. So we'll probably start these around make maybe 26. And oh, oh, my goodness. This probably pays for the entire October order. Mother jeans. Can you read it? Or am I just like totally? These are. Okay, we're going to look them up just to see. The last time I found a pair of mother jeans, they comped at like 85, 90 bucks. Let's hope a, a bunch of folks aren't racing to the bottom. Rockin' Republic. Oh, what a cute little shirt. I like Rockin' Republic. Some people tell you it's poop. Good. Believe it's poop. Don't source it. Let me sell it. I like them. I think they're bread and butter. Um, this is a really cute. This isn't really denim, kind of. I would say this is more of a chambray. Denim look. Acid wash. Sleeveless. Western shirt. All those keywords. So let me ask you guys a question real quick. And then we'll get the rest of these out of here. I have to know. So when I'm doing these unboxings or when I'm outsourcing or when I buy things intending to bring them home for inventory or when I'm, you know, pulling stuff out and looking at it. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, but my point was whenever I'm looking at stuff, whether I'm 
sourcing in the wild or pulling out of boxes, I'm immediately already attaching keywords to it and thinking about how I'm going to describe it. Does anybody else do that? I need to know. Is it just me? And the last pair in here is another pair of Madewell. So this was a good batch out of that October order, as I've been calling it. This is the perfect vintage wide leg jean. So more Madewells. Um, but let's go ahead and look these couple up together. Before I let you go, let's see. I got to share my screen or else you guys won't see what I'm talking about. And we will go over here, eBay.com. Let's look up the, oh my goodness, this pile is going to fall on me. Let's look up this first. I think it says Miss Self, Selfridge. Let's try it. Um, Miss Self, yep, yep, there we go. Jean Shorts. When you start typing in and they suggest it, you know you got it right, right? Um, these look okay, but I want to go down and just look at used. Mm, they look like they're from the UK mainly. So we're looking at like maybe 18 bucks. Let's look at solds. The solds look like... I mean, more than 20 if it's coming from the UK because the shipping is astronomical, but probably about 20, 25 bucks for these jean shorts. So that's good. I'll take that. And I'm saving the mother for last if you can't tell. And I'm pretty sure Everlane is a good brand, but I, I swear I've only ever seen like one pair before and it's been a while. Um, Everlane went in jeans. We're still in solds. So. Uh, we're looking like 35 bucks. These are 55. Let's see if mine have a name or a style on them. Because those are what? The che the, cur the curvy 90s cheeky straight. I don't think mine have any special kind of name or anything. They're just ever lean. So 35, 44 here. These look like pretty good. Except there are some turds. And guess what? If these are your listings and you watch my channel, I'm here to tell you that you're a turd. And you can take that to heart. <laughs> um, and actually listed, we've got 35 here, 29. It looks like they're probably used to be worth a lot more and people are just racing to the bottom. Here's a trick. Price things at what they're worth and run a 50% off sale instead of trashing the market. I'm so tired of people race. I'm really tired of it. Like, I know that's my soapbox and you guys hear it every video, but it's just getting really old. Like, everything that used to be valuable is not anymore because people are just not using their brains. Mother women's jeans. Oh, yes. People, well, no, look. I was about to say people haven't lost their minds when it comes to this brand, but they have. I'm calling you out. If this is your listing, stop it. <laughs> stop it right now. Let's go down to solds. Okay, well, these still look pretty decent. Don't race to the bottom. It ruins it for you, me, and everybody else. You really don't have to price things lower than the next guy to be the first one to sell or to get your fast nickel. You can price things at what they're worth and run sales. Use the tools eBay gives you so that you can be first if that's what you absolutely need or you're so desperate for your sale, but then you're not trashing the market for everyone else. What people don't understand when they're racing to the bottom in their mindset, oh, I only paid a dollar. That doesn't make it worth less, right? If these are worth $100 and you sourced them for a dollar and I sourced them for 30, yours don't suddenly become worth less because you paid, like that mentality blows my mind. Well, I only paid. Um, it blows my mind, that mentality. Cause you can make even more profit. You can pay even more bills and put even more food on your table, right? 
It's not greed. This is our job. I'm really on my soapbox right now, and I'm going to stay up here for a second. It's not greed to want to get the most amount of profit from your items, especially if this is your full-time job. This is your full-time job. You need to maximize your profits. We're doing this to pay our bills, put food on our table, take care of our kids, family, pets, and everything else. Okay? And you needing that fast nickel mindset is fine, but do it correctly. Instead of racing to the bottom and underpricing and undercutting, list yours at the same price and then run a 50 or 75% off sale if that's what you need to do. But then you're not trashing the market because here's what happens. I list them for 100. Fast nickel comes along and puts them for 90. Next fast nickel dingbat comes along and puts them up for 80. The next one 70. Then someone new who's just getting into reselling and doesn't understand anything and comps them, sees the 70 and puts them up for 60. And that's how it happens. I've seen it even happen like in World of Warcraft, believe it or not. They have an auction house and, and it's not set up this way anymore. But it used to be like that. There'd be something in the game that would be worth a lot, like a special ore or a special weapon. And everybody that came on the auction house would list theirs at just, you know, a little bit less than the, the highest one and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy and the next guy. And that's why it's called racing to the bottom. Your mindset, your mentality for your own personal self might be, well, I want the fast nickel, so I'm going to post mine a little bit less. But the next guy that has that same mentality as you goes a little bit less. So it goes boom, 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 boom. And before you know it, an entire brand has the, its value just trashed. Don't do it. If you need your fast nickels, if you need to be the first to sell, if you need to pay a bill, list stuff at what it's worth and run a sale. And you know what? The psychology of buyers is probably more likely to buy that anyway. If I see jeans that are worth $100 listed for 50, I might go past those. It's called the perception of value. Because I'm looking at them going, why are they priced so low? There's got to be something wrong with them. But if I see them at $50 because it's a 50% off sale, as a buyer, psychologically, it's a sale. It's 50% off. I'm attracted to it. I'm getting off my sofa. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about anything you saw in this video today, let me know down below. And go be productive. Go make some money. Again, our jeans guide is available and on sale. Don't forget the Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me be up on my soapbox. I hope you take it to heart. Um, I feel like people aren't going to listen over there and go listen anyway, right? <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.